Okay, my name is Ruth Blackman. In my associations with the NCF in the early years, people may remember me as Ruth White because I got married while I was you know, employed at the NCF. In terms of NIFCA, I have been involved as, a administrator, as an administrator and also as a performer. So NIFCA has many form memories for me at different levels. I joined the NCF in 1984. And at that time, NIFCA had sort of waned. Um, Krapovo was really the festival that was riding pretty high. And um, NIFCA was more seen as a school's festival. The, you, there, there was not that much adult participation. And that's one of the good things I like now that you find that, you know, the more mature persons have come back to NIFCA thanks to the efforts of the NCF back then. But it was, and it was highly community-based, you know, um, because back then the NCF was in charge of community development. And that was why I was employed by the NCF as project coordinator to more or less coordinate the community development program. We, we used to say um, that we were involved in cultural development using the community approach. So you had cultural officers. Everybody was called a cultural officer, but you had like the Omawali Stuarts and those, you know, interest, um, giving attention to like the arts, you know, the visual arts and um, Annette Trotman as she was then, she was into the drama, but then you had the Peggy McGarry's and the Victor's and so on, who were more the community officers, Adi Ford, the community officers. But then Adi became, in, in the, re, the reconstruction, he then became responsible for folklore after the community development side was divorced from the institution. But one of our goals back then in 1984 was to bring NIFCA back to, you want to say it's former glory for want of a better word or phrase. And I remember when we, because the foundation was opened, we became fully operational April 84. And NIFCA would have been in November. And we went to Combermere as we usually did. And the crowds were not that hot then because as I said, it had waned. But during the tenure, you know, well, then I became chief cultural officer and then acting um, director to call it then. It wasn't CEO quite yet. Um, we saw NIFCA gradually revived. We had a very good team. Um, someone that you're going to interview later was part of that team, Douglas Newton. He was in charge of photography at the time. And um, the John Gilmore's in literature and so on. But we had a good team. And together we were determined to bring NIFCA back to its former glory and expand it beyond being a school's festival. And, um, and it worked. And I remember it was in 1995 or 96, because we, we had moved from Combermere, in terms of the gala, we had moved from Combermere School to Frank Colima Hall. And then Frank Colima Hall was a little too small. We moved to the, what is now the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center, and we had to hold the gala for two nights. And I remember this particular year, Andrea Gollop, God rest her soul, we decided, man, no, we could carry the NIFCA gala to the gymnasium. And I remember the then chairman said, man, you can't fill the gymnasium. Nobody, you can get a crowd coming out to um, the gymnasium to witness the gala. I said, give us a chance. And he said, okay, we'll try it this particular year and we'll see how it goes. But if it don't work, we got to go back to LESC. And I remember Dorsey Boyce at the time decided, okay, we will set up on the long side rather than the short side. And we worked on all the sides. The gala was to be the Sunday. And by the Thursday, every ticket was sold. And I remembered when Andrea Gollop, she called around all the ticket outlets and nobody had any. She said, Ruth, we sell out. I said, what? And I screamed so loudly that the 
accounts and all those downstairs ran up, you know, the little spiral, thinking that something was wrong. I said, no, Nifka is sold out, Nifka is sold out. Of course, you know, I was, I was very glad to pick up the phone, call the chairman and said, sir, we did it. Nifka is sold out. And then we had to look for more ways to add in more tiers because the demand was there. And from then on, the gala was held at the gymnasium. <music>